Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Dr. Atik. I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Engineering Drive. My dear students, in my today's session, let me discuss with all of you how NPTEL calculates final marks. So this is very very important video because if we know the analysis of how NPTEL calculates our final marks, then it is very easy for us to keep the target that how many marks we need to achieve and how we need to prepare for the exam to get those type of required marks. So now my dear students, let me explain with a simple example here that how NPTEL calculates the final marks. Now when you are when you have selected any NPTEL course, generally it will fall into these two categories. One is theory based course, another one is programming course. All of you remember this very very important point. When you select any type of course in NPTEL, generally it will fall into two categories, theoretical course or programmatic course. Okay, so now the calculation process of theoretical course is different. The calculation process of programming course is different. I will show both this with different examples so that it will be very clear to you. Is it okay? Now, my dear students, when we are talking about theory based courses, okay, like communication systems, management and programming courses like Python, data science, okay, and so on, you can get one important information here. What is that first table? As usual, the assignment marks will be 25% for the theory based courses and the proctored exam is nothing but the final exam which you are writing at the center. So 25% plus 75%, 100% of the marks. This is normal. Most of the courses falls under this category only. We, I, can, I can use this word as type 1 courses. This is type 1 pattern, type 1. So most of the courses falls under this category, theory based. Whereas there are some courses based on programming, okay, these courses falls under the category of type 2. So they will fall under the category of type 2. And what is the difference you are observing here? I will show you. Proctored final exam as usual. End exam you are writing it for 75% of the marks only. So it will remain same. Whereas the difference is the addition of this unproctored exam. What is this unproctored exam? I will discuss now in the next, next part, next slide. So the unproctored exam you are writing is for 10% of the marks, whereas the assignments you are writing for 15% of the marks. So which means if you add this together, 15% plus 10%, 25%. So the, the major difference between this theory based courses and programming courses you can see here is in theory based courses, we don't have unproctored exam only direct assignments 25% whereas on the other hand the programming courses will have th assignments for 15% whereas unproctored, unproctored exam own for 10% now I will show you with one example here so that it will be clear type 1 calculation let me show you first the type 1 calculation so this is for theoretical based courses most of the courses falls under this category okay so first component of a theory based course is assignments you need to submit the assignments first. Okay, let us say you got in one assignment 80 marks. How many marks? 80. And what is the weightage that will be given for calculation of assignment marks? 25%. So if you multiply this 80 with 0 0.25, you will get 20 marks. These are the first marks of the assignment that you got. Out of 25, you got 20 marks. This is one example. On the other hand, the second example, proctored final exam. So proctored final means proctored exam is nothing but the exam which will be conducted under surveillance under the invigilator. There is one invigilator, there are some invigilators allotted to you. Those Under those invigilators, you are going to write the exam in some allotted center. This is the final exam. We call this exam as proctored. Proctored meaning is under the invigilation okay, or under the surveillance. So this is the final exam. Let us say you got 65 marks here out of 75. Okay, and how the marks will be calculated into 0 0.75. So, you will get 48.75 as the marks. 48.75. This is the 65 marks example. 48.75. So, if you add all these two, this is just an example. 20 plus 48.75, you will get 68.75 out of 100. And you will be considered as pass. So, you have cleared this exam. Simple terminology of this program is assignments you need to submit as well as you need to write the final exam. These are the two parts of this type 1 calculation process. Now, the most uh, little bit, uh, most of the students will get confused in the type 2 calculation method. Let me show you that one. Now, first, this is type 2. 
in this type 2 i told already that there is addition of one thing that is unproctored exam is available here so this is the new thing that is available and most of the programming subjects will have this now the question is sir whether we know this information in advance when we are applying for the course yes while you are applying for the course only it will be mentioned that whether that particular subject you will have unproctored exam or not so you verify it and then you can apply it my dear students now you see here this is one example how the marks are calculated for type 2 one student has got 80 marks for the assignment so here only 50 per 15 percent weightage will be given so 18 to 0 0.5 means you will get 12 next in unproctored exam the online exam which you are which will be conducted at any specified place of your convenience just you need to have the internet facility and a computer or a laptop then you will be let us say you got 70 marks and the 10 percent of that 70 is 7 marks how many marks 7 and as usual at the end you need to at the end of the nptl course let us say if it is a 12 weeks course after 12 weeks you need to go to some center and you need to write this final exam also so let us say in this you got 75 marks okay and the 75 percent of this is 48.75 now when we add all this when we add this entire information then we will get the answer as 67.75 my dear students so we got 67.75 so the what is the result of this trend the result of this trend is passed so this is how the type 1 and type 2 methods nptl final exam marks are calculated my dear students so this marks will be reflected in your nptl certificate and in nptl certificate one question sir whether these marks are given separately in nptl certificate mean yes if you are writing type 1 exam then clearly assignment you got out of 25 this many marks average will be calculated out of out of out of 25 you got this marks and in final exam out of 75 you got this marks clearly they will mention similarly for type 2 exams also in nptl certificate out of assignment 15 how many you got out of unproctored online exam that is for 10 marks how many you got and for final exam out of 75 how many you got it will be clearly mentioned in the nptl certificate so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah Hafiz.